Hello, BCOM students. My hair looks so bad this morning that I had to put a cap on. I want to welcome you back from spring break. I hope you guys had a safe and fun spring break. Mine wasn't so safe nor fun. A lady pulled out in front of me yesterday and totaled my convertible. Uh, nobody was injured, but uh, I, she forced me off the road and the guy that was the person that stopped to give a statement to the policeman said he thought my car was going to flip. Not good in a convertible. So anyway, I'm all right. A little sore back, but uh, other than that, everything's okay. For your class, I am behind, I will admit it, when it comes to your resumes and your presentations. You know, I try to get feedback and all that kind of stuff for everything, so it takes time. Uh, I will commit to knocking those out in the next couple of days. So if you don't have your stuff your presentation or your resume, your first draft of the re resume reviewed before Wednesday, you are free to send me a nasty grant email saying, mine's not done, what's going on? And I will do it. Uh, but I I'm gonna get that done in the next couple of days. Since I don't have any wheels, can't go anywhere. Um, uh, from what I've seen, your resumes are okay. Remember that you have two chances. So if I haven't reviewed your first resume, I'm going to do that before I go back and look at the second uh, iterations of your resumes to give you points back. Uh, usually when you do your second resume, I give you a chance to get more points. Uh, if your first resume is almost perfect, 95 or above, guess what? I'm not going to review it again because it's pretty good. I'm just giving you some pointers. Very few times do anybody does anybody get a hundred, but because uh, resumes are like snowflakes, you know. But other than that, if you get lower than ninety-five, you can always uh, resubmit your resume. Uh, that will take a little bit longer. As far as your presentations, the one I've seen, or the couple that I've seen, have been pretty good. So I think we're working through that pretty well. I'm probably going to post some of the better resume, uh, resumes. Well, I might actually post a resume to give you guys an example, a uh, really good one. But uh, I probably will post a couple of videos for you guys to understand the presentations a little bit better. Other than that, everything status quo. I appreciate you guys uh, uh, taking the class. I hope you've learned some stuff. Coming up, we have our job interviews. And you don't have to dress up. You don't have to think about all that stuff. Remember that it's going to be about 45 minutes of me having a conversation with you about the things you remember during a job interview. So for your job interview, uh, you do need to have a piece of paper and a pen so you can write down some notes that you'll keep for the rest of your life. Every time you have a job interview, you'll, re you'll review those notes to help you be the best prepared that you can be. That is up. That is all for right now and uh, have a great day class. Bye.